Good morning, class. This is Reader's Workshop, where I read a story to you, and I want you to focus on changing your voice using voice fluctuations, seeing a punctuation mark. I also want you to focus on the characters in the story. Who are they? What are they? Are they friendly? Are they kind? Are they causing a problem? Are they solving a problem? Um... Before I do the reading, I want to go over punctuation marks and changing your voice. So, if you see a period, that means stop, take a breath, and continue. If you see a punctuation mark, exclamation mark, that means you're excited or you're yelling. Happy birthday! If you see a question mark, that means you're asking a question and your voice naturally goes up. How are you today? If you see a comma between words within a sentence, that means stop, pause, take a deep breath, count to three. If you see quotation marks in between the words, that means someone or something's doing the talking, so change your voice to that character to make the story interesting. Now, I want to read to you the story of Jungle Book. You might have read the story yourself. It's a traditional literature, or you might have seen the movie. Now, a little tidbit, a little history about the author. The author is, the original author is Rud, Rudyard Kip, Kipling. Now, he's a British, he came from England, but he was born and grew up in India. And it was there that he created the, what inspired him, that helped him create the, the story Jungle Book, because in parts of India there's lots of wooded land and wild animals. The story was adapted, that means this author, she tweaked it, she changed it a little bit to make it her own by Laura Kalkman. Illustrated, the person who drew the pictures was by Sarah Dillard. It was a warm evening in the jungle. The wolf family, actual wolves, heard a purring sound nearby. It was the tiger, Shere Khan, and he was hunting. The wolf family waited quietly. Then the tiger growled, and the wolves knew he had pounced, jumped. The growl was followed by a loud yelp of pain. That foolish tiger missed his target, Father Wolf said. Then the wolves heard a rustle, noise, of leaves. An intruder, someone that wasn't supposed to be there, was headed for their den where they were at in their cave. Father Wolf crouched, went down, ready to pounce, ready to jump. Then the intruder emerged from the bushes, came out of the bushes. Father Wolf was surprised to see that it was a baby boy. It is a man cub, Father Wolf said. He's just a little fellow. The child had soft brown skin, big brown eyes. He was not wearing a stitch of clothing and he looked like he had just learned to walk. He's lost, Mother Wolf said. It is a wonder that Shere Khan did not kill him. Shere Khan is the tiger. The baby boy smiled and laughed at the two wolves. Every baby needs a mother, Mother Wolf said. I will take care of him and I will call him Mogi. Very well, Father Wolf said. I'll announce it to all our next pack meeting, where all the wolves gather together, pack, a group. Then the wolves and all the other animals had gathered to the council rock, where they have the meeting. Father Wolf told them about Maugi. Turn the man cub over to me, Shere Khan said angrily. That was the tiger. He is my prey. He's my food. We need two votes to allow Maugi to live with the pack, to live with the wolves. They have to have two votes. And Al Akia, the wolf leader, is ignoring Shikan. I vote yes, said Baloo, the brown bear. I also vote yes, said Bahari, the black panther. And it is settled then, said Akia. The man cub stays. So it was that that Mogali grew up in the jungle. He played with his wolf brothers. He learned many things from his friends, Balu and Bahia. 
the jungle was his home. Then when Maogi was eleven years old, Bahira came to warn him of danger. Maogi, said the panther, Shihan is still out to get you. That's the tiger wants to get him. He has convinced many wolves that you should not live in the jungle. The wolves are afraid of you, that you will hurt them one day. I will never hurt anyone, said Malgi. I know that, Bagheera, but you must do as I say. Go to the man village and fetch a pot with fire inside. Shere Khan and his friends are afraid of fire. Keep it burning with sticks. Then bring it to the council rock where they meet tonight when the pack meets. Malgi did as he was told and went near, near nearby man village he saw animals grazing, eating, and children playing, and he also saw men and women using fire. There. Here is where they had the pack meeting at first to see if he was going to stay with the wolves. And over here was the mother wolf with her babies before they found the jungle boy. Or actually, he's right down there. They're looking him. They like him. Malgi hid behind the bushes and waited until no one was looking. Then he grabbed the black pot with red fire inside and ran back to the jungle. He kept the fire going by adding new sticks to it until Bahai came to him. Akia is getting old, said Bahari. Many wolves want Shirhan to lead the pack. They will make him the leader tonight, and Shirhan will surely kill you. Use the fire to save yourself, then head for the man village. You must live there until it is safe. So if the tiger takes over, he's going to want to eat him. And he's telling them you're going to have to escape and move where people are. Malgi did not want to leave the jungle, but when they arrived at the Council Rock, Malgi saw Bahira was right. Let me have the man cub, roared Shirhan. No man belongs here, and the wolf surrounded Malgi. Shirhan licked his lips, ready to eat him. Malgi grabbed the branch and dipped it into the red fire. The branch caught fire, and Malgi waved the flame, sticking at his enemies. Back, he yelled. Stay back or I will burn you. And the animals were terrified. They were scared. And they backed away. Hear this, Malgi said. I will leave the jungle for now, but one day I will return. I will come with Sherhan's hide. That means he's going to get him, his, his skin. Alkia will be restored as the rightful leader of the pack, and we will have peace in the jungle again. Malgi set out for the man village. When he got there, the village people stared at him. And here he was fighting off the tiger that wanted to eat him. And he left to the people village. One kind woman took Malgi to her hut, her little straw house. She understood that he was not like the other boys his age. From her, Malgi learned the ways of the man village. Malgi, other boys your age have tasks, have jobs. His new mother said, your task will be to herd the cattle in the fields, to take the, the cattle in the fields and to keep them together and to make sure they're fed and bring them back. Okay? Each day you must lead all the cattle to the pasture, to graze, to the grass to eat. When the sun sets at night, you must lead all the animals back to the village. Malgi was glad to have a chance to go to the fields. The fields were the next, were next to the jungle, and he missed the jungle. One day, after Malgi had led the people to the field, he sat under a tree to rest. Gazing, looking toward the jungle, he saw Grey Wolf Brother. He was sitting on a rock. Malgi ran to his brother. I have important news for you, Grey Wolf Brother said. Sahand is leader of the pack now. He has vowed to kill you. Look for me on this rock each day. If you do not see me, it means Shehan plans to attack. If I do not see you here on this rock, Malgi said, 
I will meet you at the edge of the raven. The edge of the land. That was his, right here, that was his wolf brother. Every morning, Malgi spotted Gray Wolf Brother lying on the rock. Then one morning, the rock was bare. He wasn't there. Malgi raced to the edge of the raven. The raven was a giant hole in the jungle with steep walls. The walls were very difficult to climb. Malgi found Gray Wolf Brother waiting for him. Sheehan plans to kill you tonight, Gray Wolf Brother said. We must move swiftly. He has just eaten, and he is sleeping at the bottom of the raven. I have an idea, Malgi said. We can scare the cattle, and they will stampede, run, into the raven. That means they're going to run over that tiger and end up killing him. Sheehan will be trapped. He will be trampled. That means stepped on. Grey Wolf Brother thought it was a good plan, but he did not think the cattle would be afraid of Malgi. He wondered how he would manage alone. I can help scare the cattle, a voice said. It was Alkia, and he had come to help. And the wolves began to howl and scare the cattle. And the cattle began to run, causing a stampede running in a big, large group. Grey Wolf Brother and Akia chased the cattle into the raven. Sheehan was awakened by the thundering noise. He opened his eyes just in time to see the cattle racing toward him. Right here. He woke up and saw that they were coming after him. Just as Malgi had planned, the cattle trampled Sheehan. Malgi skinned and tiger. Malgi skinned the tiger. That means he cut his skin off his fur. And draped the striped hide over his shoulders. He wore it over his back like a jacket. He went back to the village, and the villagers feared that the ferocious tiger. So Malgi thought they would be pleased, but the villagers were afraid. They did not understand how such a young boy could slay, could kill such a large tiger. They threw rocks at him and ordered him to leave the village. Sadly, he left the man village. They, they were confused. They're thinking, how can such a little boy kill such a huge tiger? So they chased him out of the village. Malgi headed back to the jungle with Sheehan's skin on his back. He stopped at his family's den, at the family cave. Father Wolf, Mother Wolf, and his brothers were happy to see him. Balu and Bahari were glad to see him too. It is time for me to return to the Council Rock where they meet, Malgi said. I will take Sheehan's hide as I promised and lay it upon the rock for all to see. Malgi's brothers ran ahead to summon to call all the jungle animals to the council rock. When Malgi arrived with Baloo and Bahari, everyone was there. Triumphantly, like in joy or happily, Malgi climbed the council rock and spread out Sheehan's skin. Because I have slayed Sheehan, the tiger, I can choose the next leader, said Malgi. Akia will be restored as the rightful leader of the pack. Akia smiled to the animals, cheered. Thanks to Malgi, there was peace in the jungle again. So here, I'm trying to straighten it out so you can see. There, there he took the tiger hide, his skin, laid it on the rock where they met, and they got the jungle back in order with the right leader. So, this is your time to do your reading. Read to a relative, read to a toy, read to an animal, read to someone. If you have nobody to read to, then read to yourself. And if you don't have a book, then go back onto the district website or to class tag and get a reading piece from there. And if it, you have to read it 10 times over because you don't have that many, then read it 10 times over because practice makes perfect. Remember to change your voice for voice fluctuation and remember to think of the characters, how they play in the story, how important are they. Till next time, happy reading.